Hi there, welcome to Grain TV. It's Thursday, November 12th, and we had a mixed day in grains. Let's take a look at the Grain Edge trading platform and see where we closed. In Chicago, corn was virtually unchanged with a quarter cent drop at 362, while beans was up two and a quarter, and wheat in Chicago up three and a quarter as well. There was little news to drive the market one way or the other. We continue to have somewhat of a hangover, if you will, from Tuesday's crop report that showed higher than expected production and carry out. Those factors continue to weigh on this market. There's very little incentive for this market to rally. Uh, at the same time, we've sold it down quite a bit, and so it's uh, very hard for the bears to sort of jump on this market and push it to the downside. So you, what you've got is a lot of tug of war going on here. Any rallies seem to be good selling points. Any, any sh sell offs seem to be also good buying points. Uh, in terms of news today, we did have some good news out of uh, China where they bought some more U.S. beans. USDA reported 300,000 metric tons of uh, U.S. exports to China for, the, for this morning. That was good. That got the market excited uh, a little bit out of the open, but we never could get much more than a three or four cent advance. And, you know, as we mentioned at the, at the beginning, only closed the day up two and a quarter cents. Uh, you know, the other news that continues to uh, interest the market is the weather in Brazil, where we continue to see good rains you know coverage is pretty widespread there's just very little there to expect anything but a hundred million metric ton crop out of brazil so that too continues to weigh on this market in ukraine they have been getting some good rains as of late and the forecast is for some more rains but there's still a lot of chatter going on about the big drop in acres that could be coming planting pace is about 59 percent for this time of year compared to 88 percent last year so Traders in the Ukraine are, are looking, to, looking for a drop in acreage. Whether yield will be hurt by this, uh, by this dry spell in the fall is yet to be determined. But just on acres alone, a lot of traders in Ukraine are looking for a much smaller crop than what they had uh, this previous year. So that could be somewhat supportive for wheat, but right now it's just too early to really get excited about that. Uh, let's take a look at basis where the good news in the U.S. has been the corn basis that has been on a fairly steady incline since harvest. And let's take a look at the corn basis movers for yesterday where we saw a 10 cent advance in Ohio at an ethanol plant and we've had nickel advances at a bunch of plants. These are just a handful of them courtesy of GeoGrain uh, who reports cash grain prices from around the country at 4,200 different markets. So, you know, if you're a producer right now your best bet may be on the cash market where we're seeing very positive basis gains we are not seeing much movement in futures but the positive basis gains are helping uh, pull some of that grain out of storage as we've said all along on grain TV we expect basis to keep climbing through the rest of this year into December and so look for those opportunities in your local cash markets to try and capitalize on rising basis. If you want to take a, a demo of the GeoGrain cash bids optimizer, this is an excellent tool to help you find your best cash markets in your area adjusted for freight and hauling. Let's switch now to some other news and that came out of ethanol in the EIA report. They reported another big increase in production for the week with weekly production coming in at 982,000 barrels a day versus 964,000 barrels last week and up quite substantially from early parts of October and, and in late October. So this is a nice sign. We see year-to-date ethanol production up 4.6%. You know, again, this is a demand side factor that is gonna have to just sort of uh, wait to see if we're going to continue to get a stimulus here but right now the market just doesn't want to get excited about anything uh, that that favors higher prices right now so that's what we got today tomorrow on Friday we'll have export sales thanks to the Veterans Day holiday that postponed sales of ex or the export sales report until Friday so look for those tomorrow we'll be tweeting them on at grain TV is our handle so if you want to follow us on Twitter you can follow us there thanks a lot and safe trading